Hello YouTube, Jeff here. I am working on my Arxen 130 amp welder to see if I could figure out the problems why it wasn't working the last time I uh, tried using it. So, took the cover off, started checking all the wires, everything seemed, seemed tight, uh, wiggled everything. This is just the outer covering, so it has a lot of free play. Then, I got down to this little guy. Let's see here. See how much free play there is? That's probably the issue right there, why I wasn't uh, making sparks. So, I'm going to tighten that up, plug it in, and see what happens. Okay, so I got it off, got the securing bolt tightened down. Now look at this. That is a connector like that is not a proper job. If I had the uh, wiring bits, I would change it out to an eyelet so it would make proper contact on there. So next up, fasten it down, grab a welding rod and see what happens. Okay, YouTube. The moment of truth. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Uh, had a, I did not don't have a tripod to uh, do the welds, but these were a few practice welds getting an arc going. Oh, this is nice and warm. It's throwing off some nice heat. This is my first weld. Finally got going. I had to find out. I had to use the. Uh, I was actually traveling. Uh, make this easier. So I found out for me, until I got some heat going in it, I had to start with a really steep angle, or a shallow, depending how you look at it. Ver horizontally, it looked like this. And once it got the arc going, I turned like that. This was my first weld. This is the second. You can see there's like a start, a stop, start, stop, start. Another, uh stop start there I'm just these are my first two welds and it looks like it smoothed out I started getting the hang of it and show the penetration on the other side Let's see. this was the first weld and this is the second I'm welding on I think eighth inch uh, using 6013 330 seconds uh, roughly 80 amps. It's supposed to be a 50 to 130 amp, uh, but the indicator stops here because it is a little crooked, so I measure it from this point. And this is the minimum, and this is the maximum, so. And this says 80, but who knows, that could be pushing 90 for all I know, <laughs> as accurate as it is. That's the penetration of the second weld. Now to go to the third weld. Uh, this took this weld took up nearly one rod. Uh, darn sun in the way. Yeah, it took me a while. I had to use that steep angle to get it going, and then I worked it back up. Uh, I gotta chip that slag off. But the settings seem right. The slag is easy to remove. And when you have your settings right, slag is easy to remove. I had some start and stops, but this one went fairly smooth until about here. I did a stop and start. And then uh, I finally, I'm learning the pace of uh, stick welding. 
I slowed it way down here and you could see the penetration on the other side when I uh, slowed down and then also uh, this is where I started and then this is where I really slowed down of course the edge probably a little less heat dissipation there you know spreading out to the rest of the metal then the weld went like this and it's where I stopped uh, so it's getting really good penetration in this setting so miracle of miracles that loose wire was causing all the problems and I thought it was defective in that you know it it's a uh, quality control of the arcs and welder but overall I'd say I'm happy with it now it's working so it saves me a couple hundred bucks of buying a inverter based welder until next and, and you can see my uh, awesome uh, welding cart of awesomeness put that together eventually because uh, if it's it's all uh, bolted together what I would do is I bolt it together and then do a bolt by bolt grind off the paint and fully weld it you know do some stitch welding I got a wire feed welder so I could put Harbor Freight 90 I'll do some stitch welding on this later when I feel like when I have time and motivated to do it uh, yeah, I burned through uh, three full rods, and this is a half rod. Something happened, it just wasn't striking an arc at all anymore. It was difficult to get going, so I just trashed it. They're cheap. Till next time, YouTube.